Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with week, uh, problem three of the bi weekly contest 87 smallest sub array with bi maximum bit rise or hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Um, to be honest, uh, I did this during the virtual contest. I think to, also, to be honest, um, I, I was just too tired. I just, I'm, I woke up just now, uh, with a fresh sleep and I feel like, you know, things are a little bit easier. I think that's another thing where, you know, um, make sure you rest. Otherwise, sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, why did I do this or why did I not do this? But anyway, let's go to the explanation <laughs> um, just to kind of think about it. So this one's a sort of a weird one, mostly because of the reading. Um, if you watch me so try to solve this live during the virtual contest, you'll see that I actually struggle a bit with the reading. I don't know what they're trying to ask. Um, and also, um, yeah, I think some of that is to disguise that you should go backwards. Um, meaning mean from right to left. Um, and I think that's maybe part of the reason why, but that made the problem really like awkward to understand, to be honest. But okay. But now that, let's say you, you know, you've read the problem uh, and you now reverse the array, which I should have done uh, in retrospect, then what does it mean, right? Basically it's saying that from right to left, from right to left, there's going to be some... Um, maximum bit bytes or you want to get the smallest piece of it and the way to solve this is by um two pointers right because the idea here that i was trying to do and let me pop a paint app real quick so i could draw to you a little bit <laughs> um and I, I i spent most of the time on this problem not coding but more more or less proofing right so basically let's say for example that it up I do not have it up. So let's say, for example, you have something like. Uh, actually, let's just take one of the examples, right? You have one zero two one three, and then the idea. Well, this one's a little bit of a bad example because the maximum is always going to be three, but maybe it's easier to explain, right? So for, basically, for here, three is good enough, right? And then now you go move to the left. Well, one and three, we know that that's XOR. Uh, maximum XOR bitwise or uh, not XOR maximum maximum bitwise or it's going to contain three right just by definition because or is very um, uh, one thing to notice is that the bitwise or is very like cumulative almost I don't know if that's the right word but what I mean is that if you add stuff to it you're always going to get a bigger number right like you don't you know nothing is going to ever get a smaller number so that's basically the idea is that um, based on that observation, then going from right to left, I, I should have pointed out a little bit earlier. Uh, going from right to left, that means that the the, ma the maximum number is only going to get bigger, right? It is monotonically increasing going from right to left. So okay, so now so, say that saying that again, one and three, we know that th that's going to at the very least contain the three. Right, uh, it will contain the maximum, just like this will contain the maximum, and this will contain the maximum, and this will contain the maximum. Right, just because that's literally what we just said. So then the idea here is that okay, well we want the minimal uh, case where that's the truth. So then here we go. Okay, maybe we try. Maybe we instead of you know trying this span, we move a little bit to the left. So we try this one. Is this equal to three still, uh, the maximum, right? Um, the answer is no. So then you go okay. So then that means that this is necessary, and that's basically the idea. Um, now that and then the next one you go two one three, right? And then you go okay. Is the three necessary? Oh, actually no. So then now you could shrink this by two and one, and then the three is no longer needed, right? Um, and then now you go to the next number. Instead of starting here, which you can, you know that you already know from the previous subproblem, if you want to call it that, that we can get rid of this. So then now, instead, we start here. And then here we go, okay, can we get rid of the one? No. Okay, well, then this is the maximum length. Um, and then we do it again for the last one. Instead, Again, instead of starting all the way, we know that this is no good. So then we can start here. And then again, of course, the one matches the one, but also just bitwise, then you get rid of this. And there you go. Um, that's pretty much the idea. And because if you now construct it that way where you don't reset the, the right pointer, well, the left pointer will move once per element. 
and the right point will move once per element, so that makes this a linear time solution. One thing I would say also additionally is that um, what do we do? Yeah, one thing I would say is that uh, a little bit of a meta analysis is that I think I've been bitten by too often um, of lead code uh, time limit exceeded where they do a little bit silly things on time limit exceeded situations. So I actually was worried that uh, 32, it could only go up to 30, I guess, but 32 times 10 to the fifth would be like, you know, 3.2 million or whatever. And I was worried that that might time out. And honestly, it might depending on how many inputs they have, right? So, and it's never clear. So that's basically why I hesitated kind of a long time, to be honest, 12 minutes. I had a similar stick, which we'll show in a second, but that's basically the idea. So here's the code. Um, we'll go over it in um, line by line, roughly. Um, so obviously this uh, problem requires bitwise or so definitely familiar, familiarize yourself with bitwise operations. I'm not going to go over that in de that detail this time, but yeah. Basically here, first I set up the answer. Again, this problem is much easier if you just reverse the original array and then go from left to right. But I, you know, this is my contest live code that I don't think I changed too much. So, so you know, uh, it still works, but it's just, you know. Uh, anyway, the answer, we set up, you know, one for each element. This is basically every bit. I know that you can do 30 instead of 32, but eh, it's roughly good enough. Um, yeah. This is the the this is the current bit. Let me annotate this actually. This is the current um, current window bitwise or right, and this is max bitwise or, and this is just the right uh, pointer. Okay, so then for each one, for starting from the right to the left, we go okay. For each bit that exists, we put it into the bitwise or. And also the rowing window, we just do a bitwise or to get the max, because as we said, if we go from right to left, we'll always get the max, right? So while this is still equal to max, <clears throat> and also we don't go over, so I missed this part. Um, and if you have something like a zero, it will just keep on going to the left. So it eh, that was just silliness on my part for five minutes, uh, or penalty, I mean. Uh, but yeah, and then here we go, okay, we look at each bit again, if there's a one bit, so now we're removing it, right? This is a regular sliding window thing. Um, so yeah, so now we're removing it, we go, okay, we subtract, and then now if it's zero, that means that it doesn't uh, exist in the current window anymore, so then we remove it, and then we uh, move to the right. Um, here, keeping in mind that left is inclusive, and right is exclusive, and and what I mean by that is that when it's exclusive in a weird way, to be honest, because it is one pass what you need to do. So that means that for it to be inclusive, uh, it's right plus one, right? And the number of elements between left and right plus one inclusive is this amount. It looks a little awkward though, to be honest. Um, and then you just put in the answer. And then at the end, you just return the answer. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is gonna be linear time, linear space, you can do better than linear space based on this. Um, but extra space if you will it's just going to be all of one you have 32 bits here uh 32 count here and uh 32 bits here right and also some ints and whatever so yeah that's pretty much all i have for this one let me know what you think let me know how you solved it uh and i'll talk to you uh and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now okay <sighs> smaller subway with maximum but is this going to be like a try thing again? Okay. What is n? n is 10 to the fifth. I didn't read it yet. Okay. For the minimum sized non empty subarray of nums starting at i. That, what the? What is the sentence? Why do you have a sentence that has like 40 words? Minimum size, what does that mean? Non empty subarray of num starting at i that has the maximum possible bitwise or. In other words, that be. What? Who is reading this? Who writes this? 
<laughs> okay, B sub I is J, B the, I'm too tired for this. B the bitwise or da, 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 you find a small sub array starting I such that the bitwise order is equal to maximum. Mm, so basically, you try to get the round. Uh, okay, maybe I get it, but it's still very weird. Um, Mm. You have to do it for each one. Okay. The maximum. Three, one, or oh, what does this mean? Two. This is this is a mouthful to to read. Uh, okay. The length of the minimum size subarray starting at i that has the, what is the maximum on? Is the maximum on all the numbers or like is, should it be three for all of these or just from i to k? What is K? Maximum bitwise for for what? For the suffix or it just happens to be? This is way confusing. Okay, let's maybe the second example will help. It's of length two. Okay. The second example did not help. Okay, I mean, looking at, I think I have an interpretation of this, but I feel like in the regular contest I failed. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. But yeah, but the maximum bit by four is just, uh, let's see, right? Just suffix, right? Uh, do, 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 Mm. Someone like this. Someone like that, right? And then now we have to the, the, the whatever. And then now we have to go to see how far that goes to um How far that goes to, uh, yeah, right? How far that extends? Um, let's see. So to get three, hmm. So then, oh, it's the length either. So this suffix will get three. This gives us three. Mm. Hmm. Don't know that I. I think the interpretation is maybe right, but now I don't know how to do it. Or Q3. Maybe I'm thinking of something that's dumb. Uh, 10 to the fifth, so you can't do anything that. Whatever. Can you do a binary search on each one? I don't think so. Hmm. That's too, that'll be too long. Um. Hmm. Yeah. How people are doing? People already got this one, so hmm. Well, people already finished, in fact. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah, Twenty-four. Um. Can I do it in a smaller way? Right, so one does not include the prefix, but well, here it doesn't include either, right? Du, 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 and then this. Now let, let's say we, we put a three, then we just need a one. I see. <clears throat> so it should be a sliding window then. 
wow, what a hard way to do a sliding window. The idea is that the right most is going to be max, and then we take a max here, and then you go either one is not needed or needed. If this is not, if one is not needed, then you can increase. Otherwise, if otherwise you you try to shrink. Uh, is that right? I mean, it's right, but how do I do it in a consistent way? And then two, two, one, we go, okay. Mm, and then there's the most dirty bits. So, oh, dirty, yeah, dirty bits. <sighs> Is that really right? I mean, that should be right, but it's still way, way hard. Okay, um, let, let's give it a try. I don't, I'm not super confident. 30 times 10 to the fifth is a little bit big, but maybe not. Maybe the code is just being silly, but um, can I do it with bitwise only? I guess I can, just more to keep tracking. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, whatever. Uh, so I don't have to keep on doing weird stuff with the. All right. So we have suffix of i. Suppress, but I don't even think that's quite whatever. But. So we have a two, and then maybe the current bit mask is equal to zero. And then now we pause this one. Um, say if current uh, well current is to go to suffix of i we can actually keep this as a rolling max anyway but that's yeah we don't really need this I guess we can do something like I should have done it forwards actually, but this this, this is now confusing. But um, okay, so while this is true, we want to slide the window to the left. Um, okay. Uh, I guess this is. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. So now we slide to the left. This may time out. I actually honestly do not know if it doesn't or not because the code is not consistent about it. And then, uh, no, 
Luca. And then da, 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 da. But something like that. It may be off by one here to be honest, but uh, hmm. I don't think that's right. Because basically we're doing the It's not off by one the way that I expect, but I think my my thing is that the right is exclusive. So it should be. Uh, I don't know. This seems so error prone. I don't even know if this is can possibly be true, but but it does match the input. So let's give it yellow submit. Ah, oh, hmm, okay. I we this is the second time in the day that I miss. Uh, a one example case, so that's actually pretty bad. Um, also, because this is max, so this is why this doesn't roll off. But um, okay, is that even the right answer? I don't even know if this is the right answer. Oh yeah, it should be. Okay, um, let's also just try another. Uh, all right, let's give it a submit. Okay, that's not me, right? Server error? Does anyone see this? Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That was actually not pretty. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's farm. And yeah, uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Goodbye and take care.